Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Suri Sessions. Today, let's discuss about a couple of important things uh, which we always come across when we are doing data level validation. I think we all will be wondering how we can compare the schema validation for each table whenever required. And similarly, we also have a scenario where we would need to compare the data between two tables. So let's cover these two things in today's session and I will also go along with the practical queries uh, to do this possible. So to start with schema validation, what is schema validation? As we all learned previously, as part of table structure, we define the table and the column data and we also say that what is the data type of each column, whether it is nullable and what is the length of each column. So to check the schema, whatever we have defined, in case in future when you're working on net data level projects if you want to check the schema whether it is as per the requirement so for example if you want to compare the table structure which is as defined in the requirement and to check the nullable definition of each column whether the column is allowed to be null or not and to check the length of each column whether the column length is defined as per the requirement and similarly and the most important thing is about data type whether the data type is defined correctly, wherever character or wherever numeric, whether we have defined the respective correct data type. So these things we can check using SQL queries. Uh, we'll go through that in practical. So, but now uh, let's assume that whenever we would like to do the schema validation, we are going to check these particular things in common. So moving on to the next topic about comparison query for data validation. So what is a comparison query? Say for example, you have defined some tables and you started working on whether you are developing or testing whatever your role is there will be a scenario oh i would like to see whether the source data has been fed correctly to one of the tables so if you want to move data from table a to table b and you wanted to make sure the data from table a is copied correctly to table b so how do we do that so in order to do that we should have a query which will actually compare the data between two tables so it can be a table name or it can be a view name it always stays same as both will have the columns and similarly you would also need to see whether the row counts are matching between both the tables and most importantly whether the data which is underlying covering each row is same across both the tables so in order to achieve that we should prepare a comparison query which i will showcase uh, shortly so there we would use some aggregations we will use some group by and we'll use some union command to ensure we merge everything and then we compare so this is a very important query which can be used across any data set as long as you know the table name or view name along with the column names so so let's look into that in practical way but again uh, as i said these two are very important topics whenever you're working so let's move into practical here we go I think to start with, I've actually created the table level data and I've also played around with a couple of tables to ensure we have some differences and then we can compare the data between these tables. So to start with, let's cover the schema level validation first and then we'll move on to the table level validation. I think as I said, in order to compare the data across each table, before doing that, we'll do the schema checks. So we are going to compare what columns it contain and what data types it contain and whether it is nullable or not and the length of the table. So in order to do that, we got a ready-made uh, query within the SQL where we can use a particular a schema name called information schema and it has got some object level data like it can show up what tables it has, what columns it has, etc. So to start with, if I simply search select star from information schema dot tables, what will happen? It's going to show up what all tables we have within this test database. So when I execute this, you could see, yes, we got around six tables, which of different table names, which we already created. And, and there is also one view called customers underscore UK. So we got five tables and we got one view. So we can easily differentiate based on the table type. So so information schema dot tables will always give us the view of what tables or views we have so we can always use this for validating the table names say now i would like to see the the structure for customers table so i wanted to see 
what columns it has and what data types it has so in order to do that so first i would like to see whether the table is really present so you can do that by using this select star from information schema dot tables where table name is customers so when i do that yes it is available and it is a page table so now i'm going to check the column level so when you're checking at the column level you could see clearly this table has five columns which is customer id customer name address city and country and you could also see the ordinal position of each column what is ordinal position the position of the column in the table structure that means it starts with customer id and customer name and along until customer country so likewise you could see the ordinal position of each column and you could see whether it is nullable or not which is very important so we can see like if it is no means no it it can't be nullable you know why customer id is not nullable because it's a primary key primary key can never be nullable and then you have customer name address city and country which are all nullable as we defined while we creating the table and next thing about the data type it is clearly showing the primary key which is customer id is of data type int integer because it's an id and similarly the customer name address city country all fall under varchar which is of characters and the length when we defined we have given a maximum length that's why it has given 255 so likewise you could see various other characteristics of each column and i don't think the other things are very important i think the key things we would need to check for each column are what is the column name what is the ordinal position it is and whether it is nullable or not and what data type it is and what is the maximum length so if you do this query and when you run this it will only give you the subset of the data which we already shown so this these are the key checks which can be done for each table level schema checks so whenever you want to do the specific schema check you can always use the same query and you can input your respective table name and you could see all those key details starting from column name until the length i hope this is clear so let's move on to the table level data validation so for the table level data validation again as i said we would need to compare data between various tables so the tables can be same or cannot be same so that's the idea behind this query we would like to see whenever the table data is mismatched we wanted to show that and whenever the table data is same ideally there should not be any differences so to achieve that what i did was i created three tables so so i've created three tables called i think customers table which you already knew we got like five columns and now i also created customer one which is of five columns and more or less i think the data set between customers and customer one is same you can clearly see it both contains five rows and the data is almost i think it's same so similarly i've also created customers two table which is actually a subset of data you can see that it is only having a four rows so now what i wanted to achieve is i would like to compare the data between customers and customer one as my case study one and as my case study two i would like to compare between customers and customer two or you can even do customers one versus customer two so to do that as i said i'm going to use set of aggregated functions set of group by and also other functions so to start with i'll first define you how to actually write this query and then i'll go ahead with this so the query which i use it's very generic you can play around with the number of columns and number of table names and you can always compare between table a and table b this is a very good query which can be used in your real-time environment so the way we define is if you clearly see i've used so many functions i've used min aggregation and i've used union all and i've used group by i've used count so what is the idea behind this query i will explain uh, so the first thing which we need to keep in mind is when we are comparing the data between table a and table b we should put up the column names you would like to compare imagine in real time scenarios you cannot compare the data between all columns say for example table a as some metadata column like an inserted date 
and when you are copying that data into table B, the inserted date or created date can be different. So ideally, you should take the key columns which we use for comparison. And you can always use other columns, but it will give you the differences. So the way we do is like the query which I prepared, actually what it does is I'll explain bit by bit. So the first key bit I would like to show you is unional command. So what I wanted to do as a stage one is I would like to union the data set between table A and table B. In this case, it is customers and customer one. So what I'm doing is to differentiate the data, I'm creating one column which is actually creating my uh, what do you say like uh, ad hoc column so which I'm which I'm saying as customers and I'm defining the column name as tab so this will define me that okay this data set is actually belong to customers table and similarly for table B I'm creating customers one as tab which is table name you can all you can also create as table underscore name it's up to you and then I'm defining what all columns I would like to compare so as we already discussed previously for this table we have five columns and i would like to compare all the five columns because there are no metadata columns in this case mm -hmm. so when you are doing that you should always make sure the column count between table a and table b is always same so you could see we got five actual columns and one ad hoc column which we created for our own preference of identifying the data and similarly we in table b we have the same five columns along with the dummy column so you could see first as a first step i'm actually combining the data between customers and customers one so what union all does we already discussed that previously it will combine everything irrespective of the duplicates so which will contain duplicate data so now since i've combined it and i've also created a distinct column which is of tab which will define me what table level data it is so now what I'm doing is I'm actually creating an aggregated function. So I'm actually doing a group by. So I'm grouping this data between these tables on what columns? Again, those five columns. I'm grouping the data on these five columns. And then I'm asking to show me the SQL. Okay, can you give me only the data set where count star equal to one? What is count star equal to one? The count star this actually note, denotes all these five columns so i would like to see wherever the da data set contains only in one table but not in other table can you display that to me so that is the definition of count star equal to one so now on the top i'm saying like okay can you display me min of tab as tab so basically i would like to show whenever there are differences can you show me the min of minimum of table name as table name and then I would like to see the data of all the five columns. So this query, as I said, what it does is it will first merge the data using the union all and then it will group by on those particular columns and then it will pop out whenever there is a data set which is present in one table but not in other using the count star equal to one. So if we say equal to two, definitely it exists in both table A and table B. So that's the reason I'm only asking to show me the data where count star equal to one. That means it exists only in one of those tables. Then similarly, I would like to display the table name also. So what will happen if I run this query? So remember, as I said, there are no differences between customers and customers one table. So now what happens is when I run this query, you could see no data but query is executed successfully. Why? Because the both tables are having same data set. So that is the reason the SQL has run those uh, aggregation and grouping and it has found out there are no mismatched rows. Now let's use the same query on other table. As we know that customers two table contains subset of data. So when I use that on the customer two table, what will happen is so in this case i'm trying to compare data between customers table and customers two table the remaining code is same as above so that's the beauty behind this query you can use the same query you can extend it according to your number of columns so now when i run this query what will happen any guesses i think we all knew the customers two and customers table does not contain the same data because customers two has a data where column level 
one of the column has actually missed in the customer two table so when i run this table so what will happen is as you all know you could see okay one second oh, i think i put i need to put yes yes so now when i run this you could see customers table as five records and customer two table as four records so now what will happen when i run this comparison query ideally it should show me that missing record which is present in customers but not in the customers too so you could clearly see it's displaying the missing record because all other records are same you might think okay we discussed when there is a data when there is no data what will happen if the data is present in both the tables but it is different yes we can also cover that bit say for example um, so let me play around something so we all know that customers and customers two table is having similar data except one record so now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to update one of the record in a customers table to make it different from customers two or otherwise i would like to update in customers two so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to set city equal to glasgow where remember we should always put the where clause otherwise uh, it won't match so i would like to put that for customer id equal to 4 so i'm going to put that customer id equal to 4 and when you do that you could see one row impacted and now when you run this query again you could see for customers 4 customer for, uh, for customer id equal to 4 you could see the city is london in customers but glasgow in customers too so now let's rerun the query again the query which we which has showed us one missing record so now what it will show ideally it should show two records or even three records it should it should show what is the missing record between table a and table b and similarly the record which is altogether missing from table b now when i run this see you could see it has thrown us three rows so this row is clear this is completely missing record because the customer id 5 which exists in customers table but it's never present in customers 2 table so now what happens to the customer id 4 you could clearly see when you compare this data the city is actually mismatched it is glasgow and it is london so that's the beauty of uh, this ad hoc column which we defined which will clearly show us okay what data set contains uh, what table so here you could see like customers table as this data and customers two table as this data and you can clearly see it is not matched that's why it has thrown us so likewise you can play around with this query so this will actually compare the whole data set so it will compare the column level data it will compare the counts it will compare the data set against each column at row level it will see like how many rows are missing and wherever the rows are mismatched it will pop out I hope this query is, uh, will help you out whenever you do any data level validation, whether you are a developer or tester. I am sure I have used this uh, many times. So definitely I think uh, this is the way if you want to compare the data set between two tables and you can play around with this query, you can extend it, you can shrink it according to the number of columns you want to compare and you can also compare against uh, views as well if you want to. I hope this helps you to understand the schema level comparison and data level comparison. Thank you all and please do like, share and subscribe our channel. Signing off Suri.